Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another video. And today we are playing Dirt 2. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying the series. Uh, today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going back to Abaha and we're going to complete all four of these events today for now. Uh, and then we're going to see how long that's taken and go from there. Uh, so, we're going to go to the Our Rides page. Uh, I'm going to customize this. And put on the skin industries. Because who doesn't like flames on a massive truck that is... Flashbacks used. Only one, which is good. Less flashbacks is better. California. As long as you stay away from the chilies, you should do great here. Connor Ryan. Let's beat him. Come on then, let's go. We got our flaming truck. Oh, right in the back. Here we go, we're going, we're going. Oh, we missed an opportunity for a shortcut there. Ah, come on. Stop laughing at me. What have I done to you? There we go. We got around the corner. Let's see if we can get around here. I'm kind of on a roll unless you want to stop me. Okay, A is handbrake, yes. It's really weird. All of these games, they use either A, B, or X. Oh, crashed right into the side of him. Right. Here we go. We're going around the corners pretty nicely. Oh, I like this bit. This little secret bit here. Right through the middle. Here we go. Round the corners we go. I'd stand back if I were you. These cars are dangerous. I can't believe it. I'm out. Oh, Dave's out. Ah, we're taking the roadway. Ah, this is a good route. Haha, <laughs> shortcut. We got some minor wheel damage apparently, and I can feel it sort of pulling to the left ever so slightly. Yeah, it's not the end of the world. We can still drive. And across the finish line, first place. Way to go! Way to go! Dave Mira didn't actually finish. I think we crashed into his car on the race, though. So I think we might have just completely wiped him out. Uh, so that is level number seven. Drivers, depending on how you race and whether you complete their throwdowns, the friendship is important. It can open up new opportunities for you, including team events. Amazing stuff, man. You just unlocked a cool new set of liveries. That makes no sense. We crashed into his car and he's now friends with us. Yeah, that makes no sense whatsoever. Like untouchable, man. Yeah, we were untouchable. Right, on to our second event. Oh. No, no events. We've unlocked all of the rookie events now. Uh, let's go on to a gate crasher then. Um, gate crashers are really fun. 
Um, so we do have other vehicles that we can try out later on. For now, I'm going to stick with as many uh, basic vehicles as possible. And then once we start sort of building up, we'll start getting higher up cars. Plus, I want to give these cars a proper... Like, the first two episodes, we'll stick with basic cars. Just play the game. And then afterwards, we'll start upgrading our vehicles. There we go. Baja, Gate Crasher. Let's see if we can get 100% like we did in the last episode. We're not getting a hundred percent. Not as controllable on tarmac. I've just worked that out. Environmentalist. What is that of achievement for then? Nearly rolled the car. I think this is actually the race where they did the gate crasher tutorial to show you what gate crasher actually is. That was a good job. Perfect corners there. Through the water splash, crash, bash, and probably crash landing now. Oh, not quite. Long jumper though. Extra XP. And there's a first place. That was good. Right, and that is that completed. Gate Crasher done. Event results win. And we're now level 8, which is good. I think we unlock another thing at level 9. Ooh, Coney. Well, that looks really nice. You just unlocked some special stuff. New toys for inside the car. Hey, Craig. No one can touch you on that last event. Nope, no one at all. What do you say to a little throwdown? Think you can beat the time? We'll do a throwdown one time. You've qualified for X Games Europe. Oh, X Games Europe. Okay, so we will do X Games Europe in the next episode. Um, because we're just going to do events for now. Uh, so we got to buy a new vehicle for this. Uh, what do we buy then? This one looks good because it's got high dr drivability in that. Higher acceleration, it's just top speed. Top speed is the same as that. So yeah, I think Chevrolet Silverado would be a good one to buy. That was a big chunk of money gone. But we can deal with that. And we've got ourselves a livery unlocked from earlier. So let's go pick this. Oh, look at the size of that thing. That is like unhumanly big. Dodge Ram Trophy Truck. Dedication Mission. Ooh, interested. Hey, Craig. Have a good one. I will try to. Oh, he's flipped over. Shut up, Dave. Watch out. 
<laughs> Jeez, everyone's in a ma in a m pissy with me. I could not think of the word then. Oh, he's rolled over. He's rolled over. He's rolled into me. He's rolled into me. Okay, we're going. We're going. That's good. Oh, that was close. Two wheeler. Nice. Jeez, his voice. That was proper Scottish. The proper Scottish. I've just realised I spelt my name without capital letters. Yeah, that's why I failed English. <laughs> That guy that rolled over seemed to correct himself pretty well. That's good, that's good. We've got quite a large gap. Let's get this corner nailed. And across the line. First place. That was amazing. That was stunning. 10 points to a Gryffindor. Why did I say that? <laughs> Cringe alert coming through. Hey Craig, you blew that last one away. Yeah, we did. We did amazing then. Hey Craig, if you want to try something a little different, I'm heading to Malaysia for some hot jungle action. Why don't you get a little more experience and I'll take you with me. That sounds good. Right, let's go on to our last one, which is another raid. Uh, so we can take that same car again. So let's go do that. Uh, if you guys haven't followed my Twitter or Instagram yet, make sure to go follow that because we are posting quite a few updates on there on what is happening with the channel. Um, as well, join the Discord. I kind of need something to say just to fill this space anyways. Uh, but yeah, all the links are in the description. Katie Justice. Katie Justice. It is. What are you doing? Oh, we went really wide there. You might have a shot. Okay, we took a shortcut, which is good. This car wants to slide a lot, though, which is maybe a bit problematic. See that? It goes very wide and very slidey.
It's very good at flicking, though. Oh. There we go. That slowed her down as well. Here we go. Let's go. Let's get some straight line speed. See how quick this can go. That's a bad idea. That's a bad idea. Top speed is never a good idea in these games because you... The tracks are so unpredictable. And the fact is, even though you know the tracks, the car is unpredictable as well. And sometimes high speed just increases the risk. So sometimes speed is not always key. There we go, that was a good corner there. Ah, oh, total. Kate, you got totaled. Not a problem. Not a problem for us because that gives us a chance to win. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, we got around the corner. That's good. Mission beaten. Go long. Yes. Slow, 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 slow. That's the problem I had. Speed is never key. We managed to rescue it just about. And there's the finish line, first place. Hey Craig, you did it. Here we go. Level nine. That is a good level to be at now. You got three hundred and fifty three thousand and Katie Justice is now our friend. You just unlocked a cool new set of liveries. Oh, super dry. Air eye as well. And an extra 75k. Hey Craig, you're like untouchable, man. The Chinese regard experience with extreme importance. In order to race in China, you must have made a name for yourself. Practice some more and come join us. Okay. Well, we will definitely make a name for ourselves, but first of all, we're going to do this Ken Block thing. Try to beat my time on the spillway short in rally cars, you'll never do it. Well, I will most certainly do it. Um, and we are going to do it in a Subaru. In our Bill Stein. I can't say it. Timed throwdown. So what time do we have to be? 2 minutes 4.41. That should be pretty easy. If we're looking at 1.9 miles, that's an average speed of 60 miles an hour. So as long as we've got an average speed of about 60, shouldn't have a problem. That was very lucky. Okay, so Ken Block is three seconds behind us at the moment. This time we're doing this without um, any of those gate crashes to crash into. So we shouldn't have too much of a problem with this. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. This is a time where we can now use a flashback. Let's try that again. Without messing up. There we go. Perfect. That is our second flashback of the series. I think we're going to count how many flashbacks we use. Medium left. Keep in. Over crest. 
This is actually the first game where they introduced flashbacks. They introduced it into Dirt 2, and then they added it to F1 for F1 2010, I think it was, that they added it. Um, they added flashbacks after this, which this came out in 2009, and the flashbacks sort of just stayed. The flashback was a really clever system as well, because it sort of trained you to be better. Because once you ran out, you were restarting. It was an emergency measure for when it was like game destroying almost. Way! Finish line. 1 minute 51. Mr. Block, you got destroyed. You did it. Let's go then. Continue. Let's get that XP. Three achievements then. You're a blockbuster. You've beaten Ken in a throwdown. You've won a throwdown. And you beat a superstar's time in a timed throwdown. Right, so we're going to go back to London. And we're going to go do this BMW Z4 challenge. So we've got either the Colin McRae R... R4 or the BMW Z4. Now, based on the look of it, I'd say the R4 is probably better for Rallycross. Um, so we're going to pick the R4. There we go. Now go get it dirty. Here we go. Colin McRae Motorsport. Kerrang Battersea. Kerrang is the... Isn't it the uh, heavy metal music magazine? I think it is. I'm not 100% sure. I will check on that. Dale Powell. Ooh. We got a turbocharger in this car as well. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Woo! It's quick. It is quick. Look at how it flicks like that. Yeah, I know it was, but get out of my way and then I won't have to deal with you. Oh, that corner was amazing. Here we go. We are heading on to lap number two now. Lap numero dos. Here we go. Oh, let's go wide Oh no 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 quick get back control Right, so we have now completed London. We are now moving on to finish off Croatia. We're going to do this rally and this gate crasher, and then that is going to be it for the episode. Um, what I want to do is I actually want to buy the rally pack for the R4 that we just got in the last event, and we are going to give this a drive. Uh, let's see what liveries we've got. Oh, Fabtech looks nice. Let's go. Let's take this. Hey, Chris. 
Here we go. This place is awesome. The people here know how to party. Croatia, let's go. Oh, let's go. I think this is the same as the gate crasher route. That was an amazing corner. Oh, slow down, slow, 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 slow. Yes, made it round the corner. Hepin. Hepin turns are easy in this game. Just go like that, and you're round in style. Right, we've got to stay under control. We're going 80 miles an hour down what is, in theory, country roads. We just lost control. Here we go. We'll try not to use too many flashbacks. See if we can maintain that speed that we had before. Flashbacks are only for emergency use. Nice hairpin turn there. Oh no! Oh! I think that's an emergency time to use a uh, flashback. Right, let's try not to lose it this time. It's that corner there, so we've managed to maintain control. And then across the finish line. Wow. Great driving. We won it. Oh, we won. With the worst driving possible. <laughs> Don't say great driving to that. That was the worst driving you could ever imagine. Well done. And let's see. So we are now level... Oh, we're not quite level 11, but we should be by the end of this episode. Hey, Craig. That was a great race. I'm no, it wasn't. <laughs> it was not a good race. We crashed. Quite dramatically. Oh, a throwdown in Croatia. Nice. Uh, let's do Gate Crasher. We're going to do this, and then in the next episode, we'll start with the two gate, um, two throwdowns, and also the X Games, hopefully. We can do one of the X Games, which will be amazing. Colin McRae, R4. To be confirmed, we've got to beat 14 seconds. There are yellow gates everywhere. This is literal cheese. Crush. Cheese. 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 More cheese. I don't think we've done Gate Crash on this one yet. Oh. There we go, round the corner quite nicely there. There we go, gotta get it. Oh, we missed it, oh well. Come on, come on, let's get that speed. Speed is key. Gates are also key, though. There we go, halfway through the stage. We 
we've got no co-driver, so I'm sort of going a little bit off of the mini-map at the top. Normally, I listen, like, a lot of people will sort of play this game and be like, oh, there's a mini-map, let's use that, or let's just not use it at all. I rely on, like, the instructions, because a verbal instruction on what corners are coming up are better for me than any mini-map ever has been. That's why I love these rally games, because I can hear what is coming up, and it's like, oh yeah, easy left, easy right, okay, yes, I know exactly how much speed I need, and all that. And this is the end. End of the race, end of the line. This is as far as it goes, it's the end of the road. Juice World song, you know. First place, with that win. So that is going to do it for today's episode. If you guys did enjoy it, then be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And if you want to help support the channel, hit level 11. Ta-da! Uh, if you want to help support the channel, hit that join button down below. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>